Hey, welcome back to another video for our Java Enterprise Database app. We're going to create a list of all of the items in our database and show them on a web page. So our page is going to require some special custom components. Let's go and look in the uh, tutorial here at the Java uh, website. And we're looking at for the uh, section called uh, part uh, three, the web tier. So we're looking for chapter 10 in here, it looks like. So using Java server faces with web page, and let's try some components. Let's see what we can have here. There's a whole bunch of components that you can use, and we're looking for this one called a data table. So H data table. And uh, it, it corresponds to the regular table in um, HTML. But it's really cool. It'll create a table and automatically list our, our, uh, all of our items. So I'm going to create a new page and I'm going to make this the main page of our app. So I'm going to call it index HTML. And I guess that's XHTML and finish. So once more, I'm going to keep all of the uh, headers and delete the majority of it. There we go. So in our table, I'm going to start with the H and we're going to look for the thing called a data table. There it is, data table. Now, the data table has to have a few parameters. So the first thing that's important is uh, how we're going to get everything from our database here. So it's called the value. And now we need to grab all of our stuff from our database. So we're going to create a method and I'm going to put it in the form controller and that method is going to be called dot and so far we don't have anything to get everything so I'm going to call this thing fetch all and it should give me an error yes it does so I have a warning that says uh, you don't have fetch all well let's go make it so in the form controller just like we did with submit so this function is going to be called get all and it's, uh, what's it going to return? We want to get a list of everything. So let's use an array list. And it's going to be of type of uh, beautiful thing. OK, so we need to do a couple of items here. We have to import this. And then right here it says we don't have a return statement. Let's add one. And that return statement is going to be a list of everything in our database. So let's create a new object and let's uh, send everybody to that list. So we're going to use another database service. So the database service is going to be a, a new database service. By the way, this is not the final way that we're going to be importing the database service. We're going to use an injection command that's common to uh, Java Enterprise. But for right now, this is the uh, way that you're probably accustomed to using Java objects. So what can we get from DS? Is there a fetch all? Or there's one called read all. Let's try that. And it does return a list. So we can just take that, cut it out, and paste it into the return statement. And so that should return everything back to our the, the uh, place that it was called from. We got a red underline that says we have some exceptions that we have to throw. So let's try this and it adds the uh, throws exception up to our, our method. That looks pretty good. So it should be able to read everything and send it back. Now, in our uh, index page, we're going to then try this again. Let's go and type in dot uh, form controller, and we have a dot fetch all. So it does say all. Let's try that. That looks pretty good. Now another part of the data table is it has a looping feature and it has this thing called var. And so it's like a for each loop. So we can name this, um, we can name this variable anything we want. So I'm going to call it a, a, a thing. All right. So it's a beautiful thing that comes back. Now in our table we have to define columns and then give them a title. So let's put in another H and this calls things a column and then inside the column we can put in a title 
So let's use, uh, I think this one comes from F and it is called the facets. There we go. And the name of this thing is going to be called the header. And let's give it uh, just some text ID and then the output text that we're going to put below each of these headers is going to be an output text item. So H output text. And the value we want to get is coming from the counter variable thing. Let's see, after dot we should have extra help. It's not giving us help. Let's put in ID there. So I'm still getting an error up here. Uh, fetch all. It doesn't know what that is. Let's try that again. What was fetch all supposed to be? So our form controller has the method called get all. Okay, let's close. So let's delete fetch and change it to get. Save it and the error goes away. Okay, let's um, just add another column here. And this time, instead of the ID, we're going to call it the disc or the title. And the output value we're going to say is the thing dot, um, what's it called, thing title. And that should be enough to get us at least a little bit of information. Let's test it before we go on. So I'm going to run this, and hopefully we get everything from our database. Look at there. So I got the ID and the title, and we're just needing a few more columns. So things are working well. I'm going to paste in another column, and let's put in the description next. So let's see, replace that with description. What else did we have? I think we had a column for ratings. double check on all of those things. So in our beautiful thing, we have a rating, a thing description, a thing title, and an ID. So we have four items, and it looks like we have four columns. That should work. Let's try it again and cross our fingers. And there they are. So now we've got ourselves a table that shows everything in our list. Okay, we've got a few things left to do. We've got to style this, obviously, with some nice CSS work. And then we need some buttons on the right side that will allow us to delete items and then to edit them. We'll save that for the next few videos.